Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the community in Arusha. With me over here is my good friend Yehuda, uh, who is going to tell us about the community. Good morning, Rav Yehuda. How are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Wonderful. Good morning, everybody. My name is Yehuda Kalani. I'm from Arusha, from the remnant of the Yemenite community that they were here for many, many years. We don't know exactly how many years, but uh, on our family, it's about um, 200 years. Then they left Taizi to Zanzibar. From Zanzibar, they built some cities in uh, Tanga, and then they moved to Arusha for some businesses, uh, particularly shofar, Yemenite shofar, which uh, my friend Ralph Nathaniel knows very well. So I would like to, to show people the Bet Knesset. Um, this Bet Knesset over here is a Bet Knesset Taimani, Taimani Baladi, like, uh, the, like it was back in Tayman. So we'll go in over here. So first of all, like, uh, like traditionally Bet Knesset Baladim, we take our shoes off before we go into the show. We do not walk in to a Bet Knesset with with shoes on. Okay, now as you can see over here, we're gonna go stand by that one Kodesh. So you can see over here, there are no chairs in the show. We sit on, we sit over here on the floor. This whole Bet Knesset was designed by Rav Yehuda. It designed the uh, Aron Kodesh and, uh, and the Parochet. So everything here is authentically Yemenite. Tell us a bit about the Bethnes what we're looking at. Okay, as uh, Rath Nathaniel has said, uh, the Baladis uh, normally don't sit on chairs. In Yemen, before there were two communities or uh, two movements, Shamis and uh, Baladis. Shamis somehow sit on uh, chairs, but uh, we don't sit on the seat following the advice from the Rambam that we should never import foreign ideas of sitting on chairs because it's not a Jewish way. Uh, because sitting down make you more humble. Uh, Hashem is the king and the king uh, should be always above everything and we should not try to make ourselves kings by sitting on chairs while Hashem is the controller of everything. So the uh, traditions uh, persisted and uh, we feel that it should be maintained. Very nice. The last thing is in Hagtimanim is that in the end of Every tefillah, you smell besamim. The besamim over here that we have are a farsimon, frankincense, that Yehuda over here makes, uh, makes himself. Can you explain how you make the afarsimon? Um, there's a special tree. I don't, uh, rem I don't know the name exactly. As, as you see, the back, uh, that uh, it has not been removed completely from the tree. Yeah. So probably there are some insects that eat a tree, and it's not all trees. It's only a special tree. Uh, then you take it, you abstract it, and you dry it from the sun, and in some few days. It looks like this with a special uh, smell, but it's also a medicine. Uh, used to be a, a Yemenite used to treat themselves. You chew, and it helps to clear anything, any problems, colds, and so. That's amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much for everything. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.